What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So let's go ahead and introduce our next project, which is the AMT 1972 C10, basically, or Fleet Side, they call it. So the, um, if you know this kit, it's pretty basic. It's a very simplified kit, but yet it has some nice detail to it. And it's a it's a it's a C10. C10's most one of the most popular trucks back in the day. And there's a lot of things you can do to them. So let's go ahead and show you our plans. So of course we got our body here and it's all this fun stuff. It's a really, really it's a very simplified kit. So it's super simplified. But we're gonna go ahead and spice it a little bit. Um, we we went over to Instagram and we found out a guy designs basically a whole chassis kit for this particular kit. Because if you know this kit, I did do an unboxing video on this, which you will see on Monday. But this is a promo style kit because, you know, like I said, it's all your chassis and stuff is molded in. Uh, so it's not really detailed and it's not quite a detail that I like. And yeah, so, but I know there's people out there who do like it, but this is just, I don't know, for me, it's not really doable. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of this and toss that out of here. So let's go ahead and show you what we got on Colts 3D. Check this out. This is a custom chassis designed. This particular one with the, with the firewall and stuff is designed for this kit. Uh, he does he does offer this chassis without the firewall, just the chassis, and you can put this chassis on any other truck that you desire. Uh, so there's the main chassis. There is all of the chassis components here, uh, such as your springs, your exhaust, brakes, all that good stuff. We'll, we'll go ahead and open this bag up here in a little bit. Um, and he also has separately is a grill. So this is a custom grill. As of course, it's open. For, it's open. You have two. You have two different sizes: Chevy M bumps or the bow ties, the big one, the small one. You kind of see down there. And then, reason for that is you look on a kit grill, and it's just going to replace that because there's not any detail in there. Uh, it's not see through. So what you're going to do is we're going to use this grill, and we're just going to cut out this center section, and then this is going to replace it, and make it open because the reason why it's not open is because well on this kit there's really no reason for it because you don't see anywhere through it uh, because it has that you know sh that, that shot right there so since we're going to be doing this custom chassis we are going to be doing some of our cutting on the body and stuff which we'll show you here in a little bit so yes we are going to replace this just this other section just have to do some fine cutting and drilling and stuff and then um, we'll glue this in place. Probably won't glue it in place after, before paint because we might want to paint this in a separate color. But we'll see. But yeah, that's going to give a nice detail to that that grill. And then for the engine plant, the only part that does not include with this chassis is, well, every here is the proper chassis. The grill he has, but it's separate. Uh, he does not offer an engine, so we went well, again on Coast 3D and we found an engine. This is a big boy engine. This is a Chevy Chevy engine. I, I forgot the name of it. It's a big block. We'll open it and we'll show you some pieces. But it's a thousand. It's a it's a thousand horsepower engine. I was put it that way. And then we had to get some wheels because again, the chassis kit does not come with wheels because you know there's no reason for it because you might want different wheels. So we are gonna go with some of these bad boys. Uh, the designer is right there. <laughs> uh, you might know him. He does uh, print these wheels and he does sell them to you guys, but he does have a codes page where you can just, just buy the files and for those who have 3D printers. So these are the tires and wheels we're gonna go with. So these are the fat ones, fat back ones, and then these are the front skinny ones. Just so little differences there. But yeah, that's what we're doing. And yeah, there's the whole like basically chassis kit. So this is what we're replacing everything gray is we replace replacing everything on the kit. And the cool thing is about this kit, um, we are gonna be doing it in the bed obviously. If you guys number my my C10 basically the, the 66 from Ravel with Miguel's chassis, this is basically gonna be the same deal. But with this with that with that kit we had to cut out or I had to cut out the whole bed and stuff, swipe it out. So that was kind of a pain but it wasn't too bad. With this one, 
you do have a separate bed. So that's very cool. So you got your bed sides here, and then you do have your tailgate separate, and then the part that you don't you are not gonna be using, if, of course, is gonna be your main bed. So you just don't put this in there. You just build the bed sides and then uh, leave this out. So that makes it very helpful and that makes it really handy. And it basically saves me time from you know cutting the bed. But we are still gonna have to do a lot of cutting on this. Let me go ahead and explain. So the basically what we're gonna be cutting is we're gonna be keeping this top portion for the the hood latch you want to call it for the hood to sit on. We are gonna be removing all of this down here, like all of this, so this is gonna be deleted. And then of course we are gonna be doing the, the fenders. So the fenders will be deleted on both, on both sides. So we'll be getting rid of the battery and stuff, putting a battery pack it in a trunk or the, the trunk of the, the, the bed. And then also we are gonna be deleting the firewall because of course it is, there's we have no mold one into the chassis. So the firewall is gonna be going bye bye as well. So we are gonna do have a lot of cutting on this, on this cab, uh, but it's definitely gonna be uh, quite time consuming, but we should be able to do it. But yeah, we're basically turning in this, basically this Pomo style kit into like a literally a full on detailing chassis. So let's go ahead and open some of these bags up. In this case, you're wondering who the designer is. It is uh, 19 3D. There's his logo. I will be saying that off because I don't want his logo there. Uh, well, <laughs> it's just there because, you know, so people don't steal it or whatever. But yeah, so. 19 3D, it's also back here. I'll leave a link to his quotes page uh, where I got it from in the description. So, but that's the, the designer of the chassis. And then we'll go ahead and open some of these bags up. We'll show you what basically comes with the chassis. And then we'll open the engine and show you what engine I chose. So, he, very cool thing is he did, he um, included like hydraulic tanks. So there's your two hydraulic tanks. And then these are really cool because they have a special spot where they sit on. You got these little brackets on the side and then these actually just sit on the side like that. So that's really cool actually like this. The uh, hose is going inside. So yeah, that's gonna be really cool. And look at that. Yeah, that's gonna look really slick. So yeah, those have a really cool spot it goes on the side. And of course the bed, it goes out there and stuff. And then here is your pumps or hydraulic Tanks or not tanks, but you know they're air compressors. So you do have two of them. There's that one. So, yep, we get the air compressors. I'm not exactly sure where those go, but we'll figure it out. And then here is your front suspension, basically where your engine will sit, engine mount as well, or suspension. That's your steering. So, um, but we got that, and then of course we got your gas tank. Look at that detail. We I even has like plugs on there, ready for wires and hoses and stuff. And we will be we will be wiring this chassis up like on the uh, other one I did. We wired and plumbed everything. We do have manifolds, of course, very cool. So that looks really nice. And then here's your exhaust that just kind of peeks out. Um, I believe it just goes under the, um, the cab. So you're not really gonna see much of it anyway. Now this thing, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I'm sure it's part of the bracing for the uh, chassis, but we got that. And then we're not gonna open this bag up, but uh, we do have your brakes in there, your four length, you do have different sizes, four lengths, and then there's your air suspension. You can have, there's four or three different sizes for the um, air suspension, lowered, medium, or up, so you can have it in different wide height positions, which is really cool. And then we do have a battery. I did. I don't think it comes with a battery, but I included the battery because as we are deleting the battery that's in the engine bay, because uh, it needs a battery. So there's basically all your, and there's your dry shafts. There's, I think there's a three or four different different dry shafts in there. Brake booster, and you know, tons of stuff in there. So we got that. And then this one has your reader. It does come with a reader, so that's very really cool. There's your side exit exhaust. So the exhaust will probably peek out through the side of the bed. Then there's more of your dry shafts in there. The see there's a bunch of sizes in there and then your axle is in there as well. Really nice detail. So really nice 
and then there's your steering linkages and all that good stuff. So that's it for the chassis. We'll go ahead and show you the engine that I chose. And like I said, the engine he does um, is not is from the from a different designer. Again, I'll leave a link to all these parts that I got for this build. I'll leave in the description. Um, these, these are other designers. Um, just you know, like to support other designers, and if they design something that I like, of course I'm going to purchase them and you know support them and use them on, on my builds. So check this out. This is a big block V8, and it is. I totally forgot a name of the engine, so we're gonna go ahead and pull out one of those covers. It is <laughs> 632. There it is. 632. I thought it was a 532, but no, 632. I knew it was something like that. Um, but in here, you do have your alternator and all that good stuff. There's your part of your supercharger. Yes, I uh, we did. We are gonna be using a supercharger. And then there's your oil, or yeah, your timing belt cover, and all that good stuff, belts and pulleys, a transmission oil pan, and that one that will bag. Um, here's your actual oil pan. So really cool. There's part of your transmission, multiple part of your transmissions. Here is your filter, and then there's your big belt pulley down there. And then yes, supercharger. Um, he does offer this separate, so this is a supercharger upgrade kit, and yeah, we're gonna be putting in a supercharger on this. I think it's probably necessary. And then there's all your spark plug stuff that just goes under the intake. So, and look at this, look at this detail. Look at that little guy inside the there. Really cool. And then here's your heads. There's like spark plug boots on there. Just really cool and really nice detail. And then here is your intake for your supercharger. Just amazing, amazing detail. And then part of your transmission, multi-piece transmission. So yeah, really, really cool. So this is our next project. I just want to show you um, the color. Well, I'm kind of torn. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to still be looking around. I'm kind of stuck on these three colors right now. I'm going to go with like a darker color uh, because it looks really cool. So this is one of them. It's kind of like a, like a, like a dark gray type deal. And then we got another light gray. So I'm thinking you can see what I'm going with. I'm going with kind of like a, kind of like a grayish kind of look. Or I did find one also in this dark blue really nice you know m nice metallic dark blue so we're thinking somewhere in that area i'm not sure yet i'm still looking on petrus um just where i look at my, all my pictures petrus.com or i have the app on my tablet i just go on there and just get some ideas of some colors that are look really good on these trucks or cars whatever i'm doing and yeah so really cool so I can't wait to dig into it. It's going to be definitely a, a journey because we are <laughs> going to have to do a lot of cutting on this engine bay. Uh, so, but we can definitely get through it. We can definitely get through it and um, we should be able to do it in a couple more, <laughs> probably in six hours of that. Uh, because, you know, this is going to be your new engine bay. It's going to be, you know, all this bracing and firewall is nice that's Chevrolet on there so that's gonna be really cool so really cool looking forward to it so I hope you would stick around this is another crazy build you know I me mean? I like to do some of these crazy builds with tons of detail I do like at least I do at least three to four of them each year and this is my second one this year so maybe we'll do three crazy builds this year my first one was the the, uh, the beetle uh, so but all right, not, guys, that's it. I hope you, like I said, I hope you stick around for this. Um, then we'll do my first official update when I get everything pretty much all mocked up and ready for almost for paint and primer and all that good stuff. And then we'll show you my plans even more. But all right, not, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. And until my next video, we'll catch you guys next time.